konnichiwa. Ganyan po kasi ang greeting sa Japan once na ikaw ay tumayo sa harapan. Uh, it's an honor to be here uh, to testify how God is working mightily sa mga schools po sa Japan. Uh, before I came here, uh, gusto ko lang pong malaman ng lahat. Uh, talaga pong excited po ako na ipatotoo po ang uh, ginagawa ng Lord sa mga schools sa Japan. I'm uh, uh, working as an English teacher sa Japan for seven years at uh, tunay po na nakaka-amaze ang pagkilos ng Panginoon sa field na ito. Wala po akong plan. I don't have any plan to come in Japan and uh, marry to a Japanese national. But since it is God's plan, nandito po ako ngayon para po mag-testify po sa inyo. Um, I've been married for 26 years. And my husband also is a born-again Christian. He accepted Christ as his own Lord and personal Savior um, 15 years ago. Sila po, siya po yung, sila po yung aking family. I have two daughters. They were 22 and 24 years old. Uh, napakaganda po ng ginagawa ng Lord sa aming family. He got done a lot of miracles to my husband and even to my children as well. Bago po ako maging pastor, um, I don't have also plan to become a, to become a pastor. At uh, nag-start po ako na magkaroon ng burden to share the gospel of salvation to uh, some of my friends in our in our city. And then uh, little by little, I've noticed na uh, the Filipinos there are really interested to know Jesus as their own Lord and personal Savior. Tunay po na napakabuti po at napakamakapangyarihan ng plano ng, ng Panginoon sa, sa bansang Japan. At ngayon po, ako po ay uh, uh, an English teacher sa four schools sa Kukubunji City, sa amin pong city. Uh, napakaganda po ng ginagawa ng Panginoon sa mga Japanese children. Before I became an English teacher, um, I'm pastoring the church uh, as a full-time for, for 13 years. During my devotion, the Lord is always putting in my heart the prayer for the young people in Japan. I don't know why. But Lord, why is it that always, during my devotion, I'm always crying to you for the salvation of the uh, young people in this nation? That is uh, what God is putting in my heart. Then, uh, to make the short, uh, the, the story short, uh, napasok po ako as an English teacher miraculously. Ganyan po ako kumilis ang Panginoon sa isang school. Uh, so, nung, uh, when I started to become an English teacher, God showed me the importance, the needs of the young people in Japan. Nakita ko po doon na wala po silang, they don't have any interest in education. Nakita ko po kung gano po sila ka, 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 rebellion, ka, ka rebellious sa kanilang teachers. They don't have any respect to each other. They, that, they don't want to be uh, uh, close to each other. Lagi pong sarili lang po nila. So there, when I started to become an English teacher, nakita ko po yung needs and the reason why God put me in that field. Sabi ko, Lord, this is it. I, I, I now understand why you're always uh, putting in my heart to, uh, to pray for the young people in this nation. Alam po, I started to pray and cry to God na mabago po yung kanilang heart, yung kanilang interest. Kasi whenever, every time that I'm asking them uh, the things that they like and the things that they don't like, they're always telling me that I don't like studying. I don't have any interest to study at all. Ganyan po ang mga student po sa mga schools. So nakita ko po na kailangan-kailangan nila na ipag-pray. And I'm always praying to God na, Lord, I pray na itong mga um, kabatang ito ay maging worshiper mo, maging true worshipers mo in your perfect time. So nakita ko po yung, yung uh, miracle ng Lord on how He worked mightily sa mga students because every time that I'm praying to God to change their hearts, 
to let the unity of God, the love of God flows in every class that I'm teaching, there is a change that is happening. Yung, yung pinaka uh, confirmation po is every last uh, lesson of the year, I'm asking them to write a letter to me. So nakikita ko po yung, yung kanilang mga letters that always makes me cry. Na ang kanila pong comment is, the letters to me is, Miss Marivelle, you know why? You're the reason why now I have this interested to study more and more. Nakita ko po yung changes ng kanilang heart na, you know, Miss Maribel, you're the reason now that uh, uh, I'm now uh, interested to study uh, more and interested to be close to all my classmates. Kaya po sabi ko po sa, sa Panginoon, napakabuti ng Diyos dahil I know that He is mightily working to all my students. And every time that I'm, uh, I go to my, to my work, to my work field, I'm always praying to God, the Lord, today, I would like you to, to, to touch the, the, the hearts of all my students, even my co-teachers, and let there be love and unity flows to each of every class. Nakita po yung, yung result po, yung response, na nakakaroon po sila ng interest sa pag-aaral, at nakita ko rin po yung nagkakaroon po sila ng closeness to each other. And one day po, no, uh, isa pong teacher, one of the teachers came up and told me that, you know, Miss Maribel, I have one student that, that is really rebellious, don't have any interest in, in English lesson. But it's so amazing na nakita ko yung changes na little by little, he's joining the lesson. He's, they are always looking forward to your English lesson. And they're always telling me, sana English subject na. So, marami po mga nangyayaring kakaiba po sa bawat school na akin pong tinupuntahan. Because, you know, every time na ako po ay tutungtong sa lahat ng class, I'm always laying my hands to all my students. Always praying to God na sila po ay masave. Sila po ay makakilala sa Panginoon in a biblical manner. To have that right relationship with God. At lagi po, even the teachers, nagkakaroon po ng changes. Mga hindi po nag smile na teachers sa mga, sa mga class. They, they got change. Sabi po ng, isa, ng some of the teachers sa akin po mga school, you know, Miss Maribel, every time that you came into this class, you make me smile. You make me strengthen. I don't know why. Kasi po, very stressful po ang mga teachers sa Japan. Na, Nakaka-stress po talaga. And there, I, I, I've known na uh, Japan needs more Christian English teacher na magagamit ang Lord as an instrument sa mga estudyante po. Konti lang po ang mga kabataan. Konti lang po, few lang po ang mga young people. At sila po yung coming generation. And I'm always claiming to God that someday I can see all my students raising their hands, worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ, declaring that Jesus is Lord over their lives. <laughs> Yan po yung akin po nga ina-expect sa Panginoon. And one day po, um, during that time na ako po yung nagbabasa po ng, ng mga letters ng aking mga students, crying and really uh, emotional during that time that I'm reading their letters, God showed me one vision. Ang sabi po ng Lord, see, that is the seed of your prayers to the young people of this nation. Kanya po sila kaganda mag-smile every time na meron pong English lesson po sa, sa mga class. Yan po yung aming lunch buffet. Last day po ng aking uh, uh, lesson po sa kanila. They're always looking forward na magkasama-sama po kami sa school. Ang mga kabataan po, ang mga bata po sa Japan... Nakaka-bless, nakaka-touch po dahil napaka, napaka, napaka respectful po nila. They, were, they are all my co-teachers, Japanese co-teachers. During po yan ng aming uh, Christmas party, last year uh, uh, Christmas party,
Ang mga co-teachers ko po, lagi po nag a po sa akin ng tea party. Ang tea party po nila, akala ko po yung katulad ng Philippines na bonggang-bongga, maraming food. Nagulat po ako one time, they invited me to have the tea party together with them. Ang handa po namin, uh, tea, tsaka ilang pirasong snack. Tea party na po pala sa kanila yon. But you know, uh, yun po yung reason pala is for us to have fellowship to each other. So I'm taking the opportunity to share the gospel of God to them and to pray for them. Last time po, last po, nagkaroon po kami ng tea party. Whether they like it or not, kasi po sa Japan, hindi po pwede ang religious uh, thing. Bina, hindi po inaalaw sa mga school ang mga Christian uh, religious words. Hindi po pin, binagbabawal po ito. At uh, hindi ko po iniintindi yon. Ang importante po sa akin is to let them know Jesus Christ as their own Lord and personal Savior and pray for them. Last time po, nagkaroon po kami ng tea party and I start to share what God is doing to my life. I mean, nagtataka po sila. Ano ba sinasabi ni Miss Marivel? Pero last po, I asked them, to allow me to pray for their salvation. And they allowed me. Isang pong room, isang gathering po ng mga teachers. And I really pray to God for their salvation and for the gospel to be spread out to all the schools in Japan. At yun po yung ginagawa ngayon ng Panginoon. God is touching many Japanese young people and children and even teachers po sa, um, sa, at, sa bansa pong ito. I'm a pastor by vocation, pastoring the Jesus Christ Looking Church. Nag-start po kami sa two or three uh, members lang po. When the Lord put into my heart the burden to share the gospel in Japan. Ngayon po, uh, from three to four, uh, marami na pong umaaten, marami pong nagkaka-interest, marami pong tumatanggap sa Panginoon. We also have Japanese members, Japanese staff. At through the and truly, God is working mightily to the lives of many Filipinos and Japanese in this place. Purihin po ang Panginoon. To God be all the glory. He is so amazing. And he, uh, God is looking for those who are available. To God be the glory.